Shumai Bob. Hello everyone, Jason Shepherd here from the Learn Welsh podcast and today we are going to look at 22 Welsh sentences that will confuse everyone else in the world. And yes, I did look down to check the title was right then. 22 Welsh sentences that will confuse everyone else in the world. Before we start, yes, I have no glasses on. I'm trying out some new contact lenses and hopefully I'll be wearing contacts from now on. They're much easier than, than wearing glasses on your head all the time. Here's the thing though, these are stronger lenses than I've had before. So I'm looking in the mirror, yeah, I look quite normal. Put the contacts in, oh my God, do I look old. <laughs> I can see every wrinkle in my face. And I'm only 21. How have I got all these wrinkles after all? Yeah, okay. No comments below, I know I'm not 21. Okay, so here's a one sentence that only we would say. All right, how's it going? All right? I had to put on the old Gavin Stacey accent there. They popularized this. All right, how's it going? All right? Literally means, hello. How are you? Hello. We do that a lot in Wales, using the word all right multiple times. So we might say, all right, I haven't seen you in ages, all right? Are you all right? Yeah, all right. It's a Welsh thing, I know. We do that a lot. Now, number two is also on its own the word all right. And here's the thing. If I said to you, all right, and you're not from Wales, you might say to me, well, yes, I'm fine. Thank you for asking, Jason. But all I'm actually saying is, hello. Hiya. How are you? Hi. Hi. Nice to see you. Just a high bit. That's all I'm saying. But, of course, if you're from outside of Wales, you might think I'm saying, asking you how you are. Of, of course, some Welsh people just tell you how they are anyway. That's what they're like. For hours and hours and hours. Okay, next bit. Ah, okay. Number three. How's it going, but? I shall translate. How are you, my friend? How's it going, but? Now, how's it going? How are you? But is short for buddy. It's very similar. It comes from the same place as buddy and bud. Basically, I don't use but because I'm from Swansea. It tends to be more of a thing... Well, I'm in Bridgen these days and they say it everywhere. It's the weirdest thing ever to get used to if you're not used to it. Because when I hear the word but, I think of my bottom. Yeah, I don't know why I pointed down there. My bottom. Don't hear this as much as you're used to. Number four, tidy man. Tidy man. Tidy, good. And man, I don't know, man or friend. Tidy man. Great, my friend. They do have their own translations here. I'm giving you my translations, but you know, now and again, I might give you theirs if, if, uh, if I'm not sure. There's one or two in the list I've seen. I wasn't sure of them before. Okay, number five, definitely know this one. It's nobbling out. It's nobbling out, which means it's absolutely freezing cold. Oh, I'm so cold. It is absolutely freezing. Nobbling really really cold oh number six now if you watch welsh videos or you have welsh in the family you'll know this word kutch the sentence is fancy a kutch in other words would you like a hug now here's the thing in wales we say we don't hug we kutch as if kutching is superior and maybe it is number seven i'm not being funny right I'm about to say something quite serious here. That's how I would translate it. I'm not being funny, right? Their translation is, what I'm about to say is serious and possibly offensive. I wouldn't go that far, but <laughs> when, when, when men get drunk in pubs, you often hear, I'm not being funny, right? But, and then they'll tell you all the nasty things they've thought about you for the last 30 years. Right. Number eight, where you two where are you two? Which means, where are you? 
Well, you too. I think it sort of picks up on the sort of Welsh, you know, when you speak in Welsh, the words are put in a different order to English. So I think it picks up on that to a certain extent. And again, popularised by Gavin and Stacey. Oh, one of my favourites being a good old Swansea boy. Number nine. I'll be there now in a minute. I'll be there now in a minute. Which means I'll be with you shortly. Although I like their translation here. Translation. I'll be there now in a minute means I'll be there soon. But I'm not sure how soon. It could be straight away or it could be in an hour. But you'll hear that all over Swansea. Maybe other parts of Wales, but Swansea, yeah, definitely. Number 10. I'm not going to lie to you. Usually means you're going to say something serious about the person or about their situation. But it could also mean I'm about to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. Now, number 11. And we're going to leave it here for today. And we'll do part two uh, next time. Number 11. He's a humble have no clue. I've heard the word. I think it's a mid Wales word. Um, and I keep doing this today. Hand in front of my face. Apologies for that. Apologies for that. Right, number 11. This isn't bothering you, is it? No. Number 11. He's a hambon. Right, let's look at the translation. He is a man of sound farming stock who is fond of check shirts and drives a Peugeot 306 turbo diesel. Okay, right, I have no idea how true that is. He's a humbon. Anyway, those are the first 11 of 22. A lot of those are very Welsh. I've heard them so many times. I've said them, quite a few of them, so many times. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you like it, why not subscribe? And if you want to get all the videos, you can press the little bell and you'll be notified every time. Also, give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. It really helps the channel. Uh, I know some of you like to support us um, in other ways. So if you would like to support us in a monetary way, you can go to patreon.com slash learnwelsh or you can go to the Learn Welsh Podcast Club, which is a monthly club where you get loads of extra materials for your learning pleasure and you get all our videos early as well. And that is uh, www.learnwelshnow.co.uk. Well, thank you for joining me today. It's been fantastic to sort of see you because my eyesight is going in and out a bit today because I'm getting used to the contacts. But it's been great to see you and I shall see you again soon. Double key. Bye.